Hello Sailor Moon fans. Um, this is a quick update on my crazy Sailor Moon transformation henching cos cosplay idea. Um, so as you can see on my creepy mannequin here, I've got this creepy morph suit, full body, um, just kind of dance suit really. Um, cause I wanted the overall idea to be, you know, she trans she's in her transformation sequence and it's frozen. So she's the same color all over her body and I'm going to add a lot of sparkle and, um, jewels to make it seem like her, um, accessories are coming to life there, you know, when, when they blink into existence when she's transforming. Um, so there's a suit. There are little plush bangs that are stuffed. They're made from mater different materials in the suit, but the same color. Um, I also just barely stuffed some odangos. These are just pinned on to show you um, the plan for those. Um, so her odangos are in place. We got this uh, stuffed pigtail. Um, obviously, it's really lumpy, and it's probably going to be too heavy to trying to attach it to the head without um, making it fall off the head. So I'm thinking maybe just strips of fabric to represent her hair instead. Um, and then here, this is the, I guess, the Moon Crystal Power Locket, the second season locket. And I'll show you what I've got here so far. Um, this is just a basic plastic jewel. I sanded the backing off of it so you can see through it. Um, I used both sandpaper and a nail buffer block to get, get it smooth here. Sorry. Um, so I cut a hole out of fun foam or foamies. It's just a four quarter inch one. And then this is glitter foam on the sides and on the front detailing. Um, I've got some plastic stars on here just to give it a little dimension. I plan to add a little strip of foam up here so it's more accurate to the locket. You can see I've got the toy locket there. I'm just can kind of match that one. Um, and so it's see-through because um, I'm going to, and obviously it's not going to be this tall. That's just to start off with. But I have these fiber optic strands that are going to be shooting out of it basically. So this is going to be in here. There are two of them. And when you put them in and just kind of look through, it's kind of got this cool pink light glow to it. So I think that'll be a really fun effect to have on the costume. Um, in my previous video I also showed the EL wire. It's hard to see because it's too light, but during the night at like an anime rave this will be lit up, you know, I'll be dancing around in it. Um, <laughs> this is kind of a big piece here, so I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to hide this in the costume. Probably <laughs> under the chest piece somehow, I'll figure it out. Um, and I have this see-through ribbon with wire on it. I'm going to sew it into the arms and the legs because when she sticks her arms and legs out, they get swirled around with ribbon and then those become the gloves and boots when she transforms. I've got lots of it here. I've got um, thicker and thinner stuff that I'm going to have coming out from the locket area around my whole body and then just attached. Uh, and because it's wired it'll have that nice you know, effect. If you see my last video you can kind of see how that's going to be set up. So I'm really excited for how this is coming along. I really like the bangs, you know, it gives it that cartoon anime look. Um, I cut the face out of the morph suit because I thought it'd be kind of creepy to have, um, just like this is creepy right here, uh, for people not to be able to see my face. I think people get kind of weirded out by that. So I cut out the face and then I have pink makeup that fairly well matches the pink of the costume that I will be covering my face in and then I will have lots of glitter jewels and things like that for effect. And then the, the final touch on this costume and for skits and walking around in the halls 
is going to be this rhythm gymnastics wand and you know I can pose all dancerly and swirl this around and people will totally get the joke that I'm transforming Sailor Moon in between costumes basically. I'm going from normal Sailor or normal Serena, normal Usagi into Sailor Moon, but I got caught in the act, so I'm swirling around the convention and sparkling. So <laughs> I'm really, really excited for how silly this is going to be and how many laughs I'm going to get out of it and the skit. And it would be really awesome if I had the whole troop of Sailor Senshi. But for now, it's just me. So if people get inspired by it, hey, that's cool. Yeah. So anyways, hope you liked it. And if you have any suggestions or improvements to be made, I mean, it's still a work in progress, but if you have anything that would really make it feel more iconic and special, um, just comment below. Thanks so much.